Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a new 2x2, this is the Guoguan Zinghen, I don't know, X-I-N-G-H-E-N. -E Anyways, it's a new 2x2 and it promises to be one of the best, if not the best, on the market. So I'm really excited to check this one out. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Here is the logo. And first turns. Uh, definitely moves really, really nice. I think I could lube it. Uh, it feels a little bit loose, so we might tension it as well. Let's just do a quick solve here. I'm going to do an average anyways, but let's see. Okay, that's kind of easy. Oh, yeah, definitely needs some lube. I can feel, I can feel that uh, when I go against the spring, it's got a bit of resistance so i really want to lube this thing up but yeah it moves really well corner cuts very well wow <laughs> reverse corner wow reverse corner cuts are effortless but you do get to that one point just like on any two by two where it does want to lock up uh, but it never really locks up on me in solves when it's lubed in tension properly so i don't think it should be too much of a problem yeah, moves very, very well, and I think that it's very promising, but out of the box, it is definitely dry. Uh, it does have some resistance against that spring, but again, like corner cutting is phenomenal. Yeah. Now, right now, I'm using a Cubicle Premium 2x2, which is this one right here, and this one is very, very quiet, and it moves, like, flawlessly and I'm hoping that this one here can get as good as this one this one does have my sticker scheme and it's also set up by the cubicle professionally lubed but I, I know how to lube things pretty well so I'm hoping that I can get this one going the same as that one because a lot of people are saying this one is the best on the market so anyways guys I'm gonna go and set this thing up and like do a bunch of solves and film those and maybe show you some <laughs> spinning uh, cube pieces and then uh, come back and let you know what I did to it and what I think about it. Alright everybody, so it's been a few days and I've had this and I've done probably four or five hundred solves on this now. And uh, the only thing I did to it was lube it with Lubical Speedy. Um, and basically all I did was I opened it up and I put it in there. And then, that's the only place, just one place. And then I just moved it around and solved with it a lot. But yeah, now it is, I mean, this is such a good cube. Like I said at the beginning part, uh, I hope it feels the same as this. It doesn't feel exactly the same as this, but honestly, its performance is better than this. So I am making this my new main 2x2. And the sticker scheme is actually really nice because it's fairly close to what I'm using. The green is not the darkest green, but it's not the lightest green either. Uh, but it's, it's fairly close and the orange is fairly close. The blue is almost spot on. The red is spot on pretty much. And the white and the yellow are also fairly close as well. But you know, I'm getting used to the more stock colors as well as my shades, so um, I have no problem with the color recognition at all on this thing. Right from the beginning, corner cutting on this puzzle was really good, 
and uh, it hasn't really improved since I put the speedy in there maybe if I loosen the tensions so this is your standard 50 millimeter cube and it weighs 63 grams and you can get custom stickers for this if you went on the cubicles website if you didn't like this you can look at them on the zing you stickers I don't know how to pronounce that still but they have specific stickers for this and this comes in black white and primary it does not come in stickerless at least not yet I don't know what they're going to do with that um, but anyways yeah this is made by the same people who made the uh, the Yu Xiao. And uh, that was also a very, very good cube as well. So I'm not too surprised that this one is a very good two by two. So I will be taking this puzzle to the competition I'm attending uh, January 7th in Vancouver. So if you see me and you don't have this and you wanna get it, and you're not sure, you can always just come up to me and ask to see it and I will show it to you because I'm bringing all my mains and uh, this is my new main two by two for sure. Anyways guys, if you would like to get this puzzle, you can click the link at the top of the description at thecubicle.us. It is $12, which I think is a very good price for this quality of a puzzle. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video.